hey 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 lovelies welcome back to my channel this is a new video for ya spraying on my face is the retinol hydrating facial mist which is to tone soothe and replenish the next one is my moisturizer which is from clean beauty deep hydrate deep hydration facial moisturizer infused with rose collagen and hyaluronic acid and that's to soothe as well protect and plump the skin before i put any products on that beautiful now the next coming up is my dr organic dead sea mineral hydrating radiance elixir which is to give me that glow from within once my applications are done beautiful product it smells so divine as well you can see how much i love it <laughs> telling by the smile and the happiness it's beautiful so 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 nice you see how i always massage the face to boost my circulation before i put products on my face and this one is the smashbox cosmetics photo finish primer which i'm putting on my t-zones where i get oily the most you need to get yourself a primer before you put foundation on or a good moisturizer these are foundations from blood cosmetics and bare minerals these were gifted to me so this is my first time using them i'm using the bare minerals first and that pump is a bit difficult to push so it takes me a while to get it right just bear with me looking at the bottle you would think that's my shade right that's what i thought as well even when i pumped it out it looked perfect to be my shade but let's wait and see well nope turns out it was not although i think once it settled it was kind of turning out to be a close shade but yeah still too dark now this can happen a lot to all of us you can go and buy a foundation and get home and find out that it's definitely not your shade now you're gonna panic or you're gonna throw it out as you can see I am going for it because I've pumped it out. I am no way going to waste this. Ma. No, I'm not going to swear in this video. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> no matter what, we're going to use it. But don't panic. We're going to fix it somehow. This happens a lot in the makeup um, with makeup artists because you might go on a job and you don't have, you know, all the right shades and... You can't panic if something like this happens you just have to find a way of fixing it without panicking it's your job so you gotta know what to do to fix it all right now we go for the blood cosmetics one which is much closer to my skin tone let's see how we can fix the mistake of the first one Now this one is a f very full coverage foundation. So I think I took too much than I needed, but it's pumped out now. So I'm just gonna use all of it, all of it. So just going over that dark one with this one. Look at the finish of this foundation, so beautiful. Like I've never used their products before, but now loving this one i think i'm gonna be stocking up on them for my kids for jobs as well so 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 beautiful to finish beautiful it's like i don't know how to describe it it's it's full coverage and you can tell a small amount will go a long way and it's got that glow to it i think something like this would be so nice like on a bride really nice 
and I use my beauty blender after the brush to give it that airbrush flawless finish. I think I need to, um, in my first video, I didn't put a link for beauty blender. So I think in this one, I'll make sure I've got it there for you guys. Now my trusted concealer is from LA girl cosmetics. I think this is a US brand, but they have these products in beauty base shop, which is in Stratford Westfield. This is where I pick mine from. They've got all the shades. So this one is Fawn, F-A-W-N. That's the one that I use. Concealer, you only need one shade or two above your actual skin tone foundation shade. That's as light as you need to go. No further than that. We conceal those areas just to bring some light onto the face, just to lift lift the under eye and you know where the when you turn where your light hits the most. Those high points of the face is where you put those. Just going to do my brows with my brow, my wow brow from Barry M Cosmetics, and that's the pencil and brush. When you're doing your brows, always stick to the brown tones, no black, please. Nobody does their eyebrows with black pencils or black products anymore. It's not the vogue or it's not in vogue anymore, as they say. <laughs> you want your brows to look as natural as possible and also always follow the same shape that you've already caught to your brows do not go being extreme by drawing some other funny shape on your brows just follow the shape you already have i tend to use pencil a lot because i find it easier and i work quickly with that and i've got some pomades you know they've got different types of brow products there's pomades there's powders there's pencils all sorts gels so the possibilities are endless you just need to know which one works for you and that's why I'm here you can learn <laughs> along with me and your brows don't need to look like twins you just need to actually you just work on both of them at the same time comparing they just need to look similar like sisters not actual twins because you can never get them the same. You always love one more than the other. And that's my um, powder from KVD Beauty, formerly known as Kat Von D Beauty. They're now only KVD Vegan Beauty. And that's the shade medium that I'm using to mattify the concealed areas. So that's a lighter shade. So just to lift up those areas for me. And now go in with the deep powder, which is my actual skin tone shade. And I use that to mattify the outer areas of my face. As you can see, the technique that I'm using is to tap and blend tap and blend tap and blend i do not swipe or wipe because then you're trying to take the product off so i just tap and blend as i go and that's the powder brush that i'm using and you can see i mean there are times when you see me pull um a lot of concealer um just you know what if i go full full out then i will Put concealer on my eyes before my eyeshadows but I've done it lightly here because I don't need to overdo anything at all for the look that I'm going for so this eyeshadow palette is from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and this is called the Sinful Eyes Palette now what I'm applying now is a trans transitional color it's a lighter shade and it's a matte as well 
So always you can do that using the transitional color before you put the other colors on. You've got to apply that first to the lids. It's not necessary. You can always, if you've got pigmented eyeshadows already, you can just go straight in with any color that you want. But, you know, just to show you a good way of doing it to get things set right. Because if you're a beginner, you want to know all these steps. Or you might want to know. Not necessary, but eh, just looks nice if you do all that. <laughs> now this look that we're going for, I'm going to be putting a lot of colors on the eyes, but because of the way I'm blending everything right into each other seamlessly, you wouldn't even know how many exactly I put on my eyes. So right now I've literally got like, I think three or four already on my eyes. But you can't even tell. Because I'm blending literally into each other as I go. Now with eyeshadows, you always have to make sure when you pick it up with the brush, you always have to, because some eyeshadows will have a lot of fall-offs. So make sure you tap it off, get the excess off the brush before you put it on your eyes or you're gonna have a whole lot of flaky colors on your face spoiling the work that you've already done. You usually will have like maybe a loose powder or your loose setting powder, put some on your face, um, under the eyes, over the cheeks, just to catch the fall off so that later on when you wipe it off, it's easier to get rid of those. But as I've been doing this for uh, five years, I think I know what I'm doing. So <laughs> I had a bit of the um, that yellow one. It was more flakier than the others. So I kind of had a bit of that fall on my face. But it was just a tiny amount. So it did not cause any problems at all for me. It was easy to just swipe it off with my fluffy brush. And just to get into the corners and be able to blend that seamlessly, I use a smaller brush to get those lines or demarcations removed. So any harsh lines that um, lets you know where the product starts and which where the one ends or whatever when I'm trying to actually like do a color blocking like this where I want all the colors to blend into each other it's good to not have any demarcation spoiling the effect now I'm using my liquid eyeliner this is the always on liquid eyeliner from Smashbox Cosmetics it's so amazing it literally goes on and stays all day it does not budge I love it I'm just doing a wing liner this time, so I'm not just shading it through the um, upper lash line. It was actually a wing liner, but I stayed within the eye shape rather than go all the way out. Now, that's my mascara also from Smashbox Cosmetics, which is the super fan. It literally gets your lashes looking so long and false, beautiful. I think this is a mini size that I'm using. I don't have the full one, so I just had a mini size. Just applying a little bit of my Dr. Pow Pow lip balm to my lips just to give it moisturization. This um, lip balm does a whole lot. If you've got like a wound, you can use it like a Vaseline to put it on. It can take get rid of your makeup as well. It does, it literally does a whole lot. It's like multitasker. Now, I told you in the first video how I find it hard to do my lashes by myself. Gosh, look at this one. I think God's been on my side since I've done these videos because boy, I've been getting it so easily. <laughs> I got it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Yes, I did it. <laughs> 
Uh, now I'm just going to contour my face with my Becca Cosmetics bronzer, which is called Maui Nights. I love, love, love the tone of this um, bronzer. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just makes you look tanned and sunlit, you know, just giving dimension to my face. Not that I needed it, but it just, you know, just gives it an effect beautiful effect I love that it's got that um, terracotta kind of brownish but warm tone to it it's beautiful you can even use it to contour the nose which I did and it doesn't look like your nose, nose is red or anything like that just gives it that nice brown warm tone it's beautiful I love it <laughs> Look at how everything is blended nicely. It's not cakey. Just gorgeous finish. <laughs> now we go to the glow. All right, so this is the Holy Glow Fantasy Palette from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. I'm using the Sun Dragon, which is the gold shade beautiful 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 just a small amount goes a long way with me all my videos as you see i do not overdo anything just a small amount it's what you do with it that matters and where you put it you know i strategically place my products so that you get the amazing effect that i'm going for now that's the Urban Decay Cosmetics All Nighter Setting Spray. Just as a finishing. You don't usually need a setting spray if you've actually blended everything as you should. And you've got the right base as I did with the skin prep. Then you're going to be a-okay. But this is for video purposes. So we're doing the lips now. That's my uh, Barry M Cosmetics Lip Liner. It's a dark brown color, no black. Don't ever do your lip liner with a black pencil, please. Browns only. Look at that pink shade. This lips, lipstick is also Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. And the shade is called Dolly Me Up. Dolly Me Up. Yes, baby. Looking like a black Barbie over there. <laughs> I love, 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 love their lipsticks. Like, this is a matte liquid lipstick. But look at that glossy effect to it. It will dry to matte, but you still have that glossy look to it. It doesn't dry your lips at all. It's comfortable to wear. Very soft and easy. It's like, so nice. I love it. And it goes with the pop of color on my eyes as well. I love it. Beautiful. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. It's beautiful, right? I love it. Just feeling myself. <laughs> Almost done. Gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching this with me. And I hope you enjoy as much as I loved making it. Yeah, there we go, dancing again. I'm always dancing. <laughs> this is the finished look. I went to change. Put my wig on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I think I was just having a celebration by myself, dancing away over here. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I act after I finish making my doing my makeup. <laughs> you should try it sometime. Have a dance. Be happy. Keep safe, guys. And thank you. I hope to see you again in my next video. Make sure you tell me what to do next. Maybe we'll, talk, we'll do a talk through about the products that I use as skin prep. Or talk about makeup, different makeup brushes. Thank you so much. Next time. Mwah.